Hello friends, this is Gangadhar from the YouTube channel Max Ganga. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. And today in this video, we are going to discuss about the way to generate the divisibility rules for the special numbers, the primes 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 like this. Okay. In the previous video of the divisibility rules, we discussed about the magical combined rule to check the divisibility for 7, 11, 13. Okay. Which is nothing but the subtraction of the last three digits from the remaining number and to continue the process like this. Okay. This is we discussed in the previous video. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the oscillating rules for the 7, 11, 13 like this. Okay. Coming to 7. First of all, observe the rules and then we will we will discuss about the way of generation of the rules and in the next video we are going to discuss the secret behind the logic also okay now here uh, for the 7 what we need to do for all these numbers okay initially we need to we need to find out a number which is of the form 10 multiple plus or minus 1 as well as the multiples of this one what I mean is coming to 7 for this 7, you need to identify two multiples of 7. Okay? And those seven, multiples of 7 are of the format 10 multiple plus 1 or 10 multiple minus 1. See, see for this 7, 21 is a 7 multiple, whereas 49 is also a 7 multiple. 21 is a 7 multiple, 49 is a 7 multiple. This 21 is nothing but 20 plus 1. Whereas this 49 is nothing but 50 minus 1. First of all, uh, in memorizing these two, we are going to generate the divisibility rules. Since 7, 21 is a multiple of 7, and we can express 21 as 20 plus 1. So if we have this one in our mind, then coming to the divisibility rule for 7 is multiplying the last digit with the 2 and we need to subtract. That is the one way. And the other way is multiplying the last digit with 5 and then add. Totally, we are mentioning two, two divisibility rules per 7. The first divisibility rule of 7 is multiply the units digit with 2 and then subtract from the remaining number. And the other divisibility rule is multiply the units digit with 5 and then add for the remaining number. So go with any one of these two and then continue the process repeatedly until you need to reach a 7 multiple of your known number. Okay. For suppose, uh, if I took a number like this, uh, something like uh, 343, you just take it. Actually, we know this 343 is a 7 multiple, 7 cube. Now I am checking this 343 whether it is a 7 multiple or not using our two divisibility conditions. The first rule is what? We need to multiply the remaining number 34. Okay. Uh, by multiplying the units digit with 2, we need to subtract from the remaining number. So 34 minus 2 into 3. So 34 minus 6, which is 28. Since this 28 is a 7 multiple, 343 is also a 7 multiple. If we don't know whether 28 is a 7 multiple or not, we continue the process. Okay. See, uh, this is the one rule. In the other rule is, Multiply the units digit with 5. So 3 into 5. And add it to the remaining number. 3 5 is 15. 15 plus 34 is 49. 49 is also 7 multiple. So 343 is a 7 multiple. To check whether the given number is 7 multiple or not, we can proceed in two ways. One way is multiplying the units digit with 2, subtract from the remaining number, continue like that to reach the 7 multiple. Other Procedure. The other way is, other rule is, multiply the units just with 5, add to the remaining number, continue the procedure to reach 7 multiple. Okay. Uh, usually, since 2 is a smaller number when compared with 5, for 7, we move with this first rule. Multiplying the units just with 2, subtracting from the remaining number, and we proceed like that. Okay. So, consider the number, the first number is given like 29457. 4, 7. We need to check whether this is a 7 multiple or not. To check what we have to do, we need to concentrate on the units digit. Multiply the units digit with the 2 
and then subtract from the remaining number. So we have the 2, 9, 4, 5, 7, 4. So the remaining number minus 2 into 7 is 40. So if you simplify, you left with the 2, 9, 4, 5, 6, 0. See, we don't know whether it is 7 or 12 or not. So continue the procedure. Again, multiply the units with 2 and subtract. 2, 9, 4, 5, 6 minus 2 into 0 is 0. So 2, 9, 4, 5, 6 minus 0 is 2, 9, 4, 6. So we need to check whether it is 7 or 12 or not. Again, do the same procedure. Multiply the units with the 2, subtract from the remaining number. So we have that 2, 9, 4, 5 minus 12. So and if you simplify, we have that 2, 9, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3, 3. Okay. Again do the same thing. What you have to do? 2, 9, 3, 3 is the number. Again multiply the units with the 2. Subtract from the remaining number. So we have that 2, 9, 3 minus 6. 2, 9, 3 minus 6 means 287. See, we know that 287 is a 7 multiple. 7 fourths and 7 ones. Since this 287 is a 7 multiple, so 2, 9, 3, 3 is also 7 multiple. So, 2, 9, 4, 5, 6 is also 7 multiple. So, 2, 9, 5, 4, 5, 7, 4 is also 7 multiple. And the given number is also 7 multiple. Actually, we don't no need to discuss about the remaining numbers, middle numbers. You just concentrate on the given number and the last number what you obtain. Since the last number we obtain is 287, since it is a 7 multiple, so the given number is also 7 multiple. So, like this, we will check the divisibility rule for 2, for 7. Okay, so how can we check? We multiply the units with 2 and we subtract from the remaining number. We continue the procedure till to reach a known 7 multiple. Okay, this is the basic rule of basic divisible rule for 7. And the other rule is multiply the units with 5 and add to the remaining number. Continue the procedure to reach a known 7 multiple. That is, all, that is also available. But among these two, we feel more comfortable. Uh, with the multiplication of 2, so we use the first divisibility rule. Okay, then coming to the next number, 11. So for 11 also, we need to identify two multiples of 11. One is 10 multiple plus 1 and the other one is 10 multiple minus 1. We need to identify two multiples of 11 as 11 and 99. Why we are identifying only these two, leaving the other 11 multiples 22, 33 like this? See, since this 11 is 10 plus 1, 10 multiple plus 1, and this 99 is 100 minus 1. So, we have basically two divisibility rules for 11 also in this oscillating procedure. In the first weather, we will subtract the units digit with 1 itself, and then we subtract from the remaining number. We will multiply the units digit with 1, and we subtract from the remaining number. In the by using this, by you uh, the other divisible tool for 11 is multiply the units digit with the 10 and then add for the remaining number. We have two procedures, but multiplying with 10, uh, then that multiplying with 1 is more comfortable. So we are going with this one. So the basic divisibility rule for 11 is already we discussed two different types of divisibility rules for 11 in the previous videos. Now this is the third method. Okay, see in this method we have to multiply the unit digit of the given number with 1 and we subtract from the remaining number. Continue the procedure to reach a known 11 multiple. If it is not happens, the given number is not 11 multiple. If it happens, the given number is a 11 multiple. But suppose consider the next second number. See it is given like 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4. What, what we mentioned the divisibility rule? Multiply the unit digit with 1 and subtract from the remaining number. So 2, 3, 4, 3, 4 minus this unit digit into 1 is 4 itself minus 4. So if you simplify, you have that 2, 3, 4, 3, 0. Okay. Now again, multiply the unit digit with 1 and then subtract from the remaining number. You left with 2, 3, 4, 3. Again, multiply the unit digit with 1 and subtract from the remaining number. You left with 2, 235. Again, multiply the unit digit with 1 and subtract from the remaining number. 23 minus 1 is 22. Since 22 is a known 11 multiple, then the given number is also a known 11 multiple. So, to check whether a given number is a multiple of 11 or not, 
what we do. We have to do uh, multiplying the uses into one and subtract from the remaining number. Continue the procedure to reach a known level multiple. If we reach to a known level multiple, then the given number is also a level multiple. For example, if we left with either with 23 or with 24, this is not uh, the 23 and 24 are not level multiples. So the given number is also a not a level multiple in those cases. But here it is a level multiple. Okay. So for the seven, multiply the units with two and subtract from the remaining number. For the eleven, multiply the units with one and subtract from the remaining number. Then where is coming for the thirteen? See, we are going to discuss it for the number thirteen. So for thirteen also. We need to identify two multiples of 13. First one is 10 multiple plus 1, and the other one is 10 multiple minus 1. 13 ones, 13 twos, 13 threes is 39, okay, which is 40 minus 1. Okay, and then mm, 13 sevens is 91. Okay, see 13 one, 32, 13 threes, 13 fours is 52, 565, 678, and 13 sevens is 91. So, 9 multiple plus 1. So, from this, we will mention the first divisible tool for 13 is multiply the unit digit with 9 and subtract from the remaining number. Continue the procedure to reach a known 13 multiple. And from this case, multiply the unit digit with 4 and add to the remaining number. Since it is plus 1, we have to subtract from the remaining number. Since it is minus 1, we have to add for the remaining number. Why we are adding, why we are subtracting, and we are considering and why we are considering this 91 and 39 instead of other 13 multiples. Okay. So we, we will discuss the secrets behind all these things in the next video. Okay. But in this video, we are concentrating on the way to find whether the given number is a multiple of 13 or not. Okay. See. So among these two, multiplying the unit digit with 9 or multiplying the units with 4, multiplication with 4 is comfortable, so we will move with this one instead of that. Okay, so for suppose you have the number 1, 2, 1, 0, 3. To check whether this is the multiple of 13 or not, you just multiply the units digit with 4 and add to the remaining number. Then what will happen? 1, 2, 1, 0 plus 3 into 4. 3 into 4 is 12, then the result is 1, 2, 2, 2. Now, again multiply the units just with the 4 and add to the remaining number. We have that 1, 2, 2 plus 8. 1, 2, 2 plus 8 is 130. This 130 is clearly a multiple of 13, so the given number is also a multiple of 13. Okay, so for each and every number, we have two rules. First rule is multiplying the units just units digit with some number and subtract from the remaining number. And the other rule is multiply the units, units digit with certain number and add to the remaining number. Continue the procedure. Okay. See, among these two, uh, the one we, for which the multiplication is easy, we will select that one. Coming to 13, multiplication with 4 is comfortable. So we are following the second rule. So multiply the units with 4 and add to the remaining number. So this is the way. Okay. Then coming to 17, what we have to do to check whether a given number is a multiple of 17 or not. How can we check? For 17 also identify two multiples. 17 threes is 51. And to get a multiple of 17, which is of the format 10 multiple minus 1, 17 sevens is 119. Okay. This is 50 plus 1 and this is 120 minus 1. Based on this, the divisibility rule for 17 is multiply the unit digit with 5 and subtract from the remaining number. Continue the process to reach a known 7 multiple, 17 multiple. And based on this, the divisibility rule for 17 is multiply the unit digit with 12 and add to the remaining number. See, multiplication with the 12 is difficult, difficult than the multiplication to 5. So we move with this rule of matter. Okay, so the number is what? Consider the next number like uh, 1, 2, 7, 1, 6. We need to check whether it is a 17 multiple or not. To check whether it is a 17 multiple or not, multiply the units with 5 and subtract from the remaining number. So 1, 2, 7, 1 minus 6 into 5. 
6 into 5 is 30. So if you subtract, you left with uh, 1, 2, 4, 1. Okay, so again continue the process. What the remaining number 1 to 4 minus the unit is with 5. 1 into 5. So which is nothing but 119. So 119 is clearly a 17 multiple. Since 119 is a known 17 multiple, the given number is also a 17 multiple. So the divisibility rule for 7 is multiply the units digit with the 5 and subtract from the remaining number. We have the other rule also. Multiply the units with the 12 and add. But that was difficult than this one. So we will concentrate on this one only. Okay. This is the divisible rule for 17. Then coming to 90. So to frame the divisible rules for 90 also, we need to identify two numbers. So two multiples of 90. One is of the format 10 multiple plus 1. And the other one is of the format 10 multiple minus 1. See, 19, once is 19, we can express it like a 20 minus 1, okay? And then coming to 19, such that which ends with 10 multiple of plus 1 of format, okay? See, my, uh, 19 ones, 19 twos, 19 threes, 19 fours, 19 fives, 19 six, 19 sevens, okay? Uh, 7 nines, 63, 8 nines, okay? We need just concentrate on this one. We 19 is 20 minus 1. This is of the second format. Based on this, we will generate the divisible rule for 19. What is the rule? Multiply the units just with 2 and add to the remaining number. Okay? See, the number is 21793. To check whether this is a 19 multiple or not, you just multiply the units just with 2 and add to the remaining number. So, 2179 plus 3 into 2. 3 into 2 is 6. 2179 plus 6 is nothing but 2185. And then do again. What we have to do? 218 plus 5 into 2. Multiply the units digit with 2 and add to the remaining number. Then it will become like 228. Okay. See, to check whether it is the 19 multiple or not, do again. Multiply the units digit with 2 and add the remaining number. Then what will happen? 22 plus 8 into 2 is 60. Then you left with a 38. Since this 38 is a known 19 multiple, the given number is also a known 19 multiple. So what is the divisible rule for 19? For 19, the divisible rule is multiply the unit digit with 2 and add to the remaining number. Continue the process like this. Okay. In the same way, we, we, have, we, have, we can generate the divisibility rule for the number 23 also. So, coming to the number 23, 23 threes is 69. Since 23 threes is 69, 69 can be expressed as 70 minus 1. Based on this, we will mention that multiply the unit digits with 7 and add to the remaining number. Continue the process to reach a known 23 multiple. So, the given number is also a known 23 multiple. Okay. And the other thing is uh, 23 ones, 23 twos, 23 threes. If, if we can identify a number which ends with 1, 23 sevens. 23 sevens is how much? Usually 140 plus 20, 161. Okay. 161, 23 into 7. Based on this, the divisibility rule is multiply the units digit with 16 and subtract from the remaining number. So that was difficult. So multiplication with 7 is easier than 16. So first suppose I have a number 2, 3, 2, 4, 1, 5. I need to check whether this number is a multiple of 23 or not. So for that, I multiply the units digit with 7 and I will add to the remaining number. So what will happen? 2, 3, 2, 4, 1 plus 5 into 7 is 35. And what will happen? 2, 3, 2. 7, 6. So again continue the process. Multiply the units list with 7. 7, 6 is 42. Add to the remaining number. 9, 6, 2, 3. Again continue the process. Multiply the units list with 7. So 63. Add to the remaining number. 9, 9, 2. Okay. Have 299. So again continue the same process. Multiply the units list with 7. 7, 9 is 63. Add to the remaining number. This is 12 and this is 9. 
92. This 92 is a known 23 multiple because 23 force is 92. Since 92 is a known 23 multiple, so the given number is also a 23 multiple. So what is the divisible rule for 23? Multiply the units with 7 and add the remaining number. Continue the process to reach a known 23 multiple. So the given number is also a 23 multiple. So like this we, like this we can generate the divisibility rules, rules for any prime number. So okay, we need to identify a multiple of that prime which is of the format 10 multiple plus 1 or 10 multiple minus 1. Okay. See, collecting all these things, we have to mention the divisibility rules for the primes 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. For 7, what we have to do? For 7, 7, 3, 6, 21. So multiply with 2 and then subtract from the remaining number. So remaining number minus 2 into the last digit for 7. Okay. Whereas coming for the 11, what we have to do? 11 is, about 1 is 11. So from the remaining number, we need to subtract the last digit into 1. Continue the process. Whereas for 13, 13, 3 is 39. So for 7, what we need to do? For 13, what we have to do? The remaining number plus 4 into the last digit. Multiply the last digit with the 4 and then add to the remaining number. Continue the process. Whereas coming for the 17, 17, 3 is 51. So since it is 51, 50 plus 1, so subtract the 5 into the last digit from the remaining number to check whether the result is a 17 multiple or not. Similarly, for 19, the divisibility rule is 19, 1 is 19, which is 20 minus 1. So remaining number plus 2 into the last digit. And then coming to 23, the unit digit or the divisibility rule is 23, 3 is 69. 69 is 70 minus 1. So the remaining number plus 7 into last digit is the divisibility rule for 23. So to check whether the given number is a 7 multiple or 11 multiple or 13 multiple or 17 multiple or 19 multiple or 23. So to check what you have to do for the 7, multiply the last digit with the 2, subtract from the remaining number, continue the process to reach a known 17, 7 multiple. For 11, Multiply the last digit with 1 and subtract from the remaining number to reach a non 11 multiple. For 13, multiply the last digit with 5 and add to the remaining number to reach the 13 multiple. And then for 17, multiply the last digit with 5 and subtract from the remaining number to reach a non 17 multiple. And for 19, multiply the last digit with 2 and then add to the remaining number. Continue the process to reach a non 19 multiple to decide whether the given number is 19 multiple or not. And for 23, we have to multiply the last digit with 7 and then add the one to the remaining number if the, if to reach a known 23 multiple and if you arrive, then the given number is 23 multiple. Otherwise, the given number is not a 23 multiple. Okay. So, with the, compl with the complete class of this, okay, you need to memorize these things are not The divisibility rules for the special primes 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and 23. Okay, so this is these are the divisible rules for the numbers, and the way we discussed with the examples also. Okay, and in the next video, we are going to discuss the why we are subtracting, why we are adding, and why we are selecting these two, four, five. Okay, and the secrets behind all these the divisibility rules. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe this, and I hope this video is helpful for your preparation. If it is helpful, like it and share to your friend also. Thank you.